What's up, guys? Let's play some Run 8. Uh, more specifically, we're going to be working the uh, Yard Down in Waycross. So what I've been doing here lately is I've been uh, I've been working on my own world. Uh, it spurs early 2000 uh, world. And, and basically, it started as one of the depot saves. They got those guys. Like Some of them have gone like above and beyond uh, uploading these fully populated worlds on the de the depot where you can uh, you can download these and you can either play it as is or what I did was I used it as a base uh, for some of the things and operations that I remember from the early 2000s right so uh that's what I've been working on and uh, a lot of it is like um basically uh, you know adjusting the trains like the trains that ran back then um adjusting the locals like some of the locals were different back then the traffic patterns were different uh what else you know kind of adjusting some of the industries uh i'm trying to think what else have i done on this uh basically just kind of backdating everything and really when it comes to like the industries and stuff like that just trying to like slow everything down because i feel like uh there's a lot of servers and a lot of traffic on uh run eight at least for the southeast is like it's it's in overdrive right like there's so much traffic being generated it's just a crazy amount of traffic and it really it wasn't quite like that right we didn't have these like monster mega locals that we went out with 30 40 50 cars um switching so yeah i'm just trying to backdate everything and uh and slow it down that sort of thing so we're at waycross in man i i can't say this enough waycross is like a train simming marvel in my book it's just it's nothing short of impressive if you're not familiar with railroading you're not familiar with run eight waycross uh aka rice yard in waycross georgia out in the middle of the boonies in the middle of nowhere right south georgia is uh the largest rail yard in on csx and it has been uh accurately recreated in run eight now it's not a thousand percent track for track some of the tracks and some like the smaller yards because all major yards are made up of like multiple small yards too right it's got main points of the yard and smaller yards but the bulk of the the major part of the yard is here you know your your i think it's a 10 track receiving yard right let's see let's do uh shift f8 12 track 12 track receiving yard 10,000 feet each give or take you know that's here we're looking down the receiving yard towards the bowl this is where the old acl yard used to be actually before they did rice yard in the early 70s there was a flat yard here and it was just about the entirety of the receiving yard so the old flat yard was made into the receiving yard um if you go on down this is a north forwarding yard yeah, north forwarding yard here. Uh, south forwarding yard on this side and the local yard. Right here, as you can see, local yard and south forwarding. South forwarding isn't nearly as big as um, north forwarding. I think it's what, four tracks? Something like that, four or five tracks. Maybe four tracks in a run through. Local yard here. Uh, there's also a Herco yard in real life. I think they kind of got the Herco yard, maybe. Maybe this is a Herco yard right here where they got locomotive storage. Yeah, Herco yard. It's scaled down a little bit compared to real life, but it's it's kind of there. Uh, North forwarding's one to one. Herco, you've got your uh, locomotive repair facility here. As you can see, got some locomotives in there being serviced. Uh, I think this is car repair, right? That's car repair here. Got a car in there being worked on. Uh, service center, way across, Rishar service center. Here you go, man. I need to, uh, I, I need to get the, um, the switcher pack, right? I really need to see about those. Really cool. I've, I've yet to really do anything with those. I've, I've been in them a little bit, but I haven't done much with them. Uh, service center right there. As you can see, you go in get your fuel, get your locomotives taken care of just basic stuff in there. Right. And then, uh, the little, uh, the storage yard here for uh power that's ready to go. Basically, this would all be power that's ready to go. So the hostlers would come out here and uh, jump on these and take them to uh, 
whatever train they're going to go on. Sometimes the crews would too. You know, I was very, very lucky. I never had to take power out of the service center once. I don't remember a single time doing that. I remember hearing guys complain about that. They're like, why do we got hostlers down there if they're not putting power on the trains? But I never, I never took power out. I don't ever remember doing that. I do remember taking power in. Like that was pretty regular for me, at least. Uh, taking power off your train, like you would come in here in the R yard, right? You cut. They say cut your power off and take it to the house, right? Cut your power off, take it to the house. So, uh, that is what you would do. Wasn't that big of a deal, right? I, I, I get the like. <clears throat> As a train crew, you never really want to fool with that stuff. You've just been on the road for like 10 or 12 hours, right? Like, you don't want that little extra stuff that you tacked on to the end of it. But, you know, it is what it is. It's part of what you did. So, uh, like I said, looking uh, east down the uh, art yard here. How impressive is that? I mean, just look at the sheer number of cars in this yard. It just it blows my mind all the time. It really just does. Door forwarding yard here. <clears throat> now we're getting to the bowl. It's really, it's not that full. It's cleaned out. Like, this save I got is pretty, uh, is, is fairly empty. It's not too bad. But, uh, I, I mean, look at this. Is there anything like this in any other train sim out there? And I'm, I'm flying around. I don't know if it, if it'll tell your F, yeah, it does. It tells your FPS. I got mine locked at 30. I just keep it at 30. And it is unwavering 30 fps flying around all these freight cars all these trains all these locomotives you know scenery is light down here but that's for a reason because you do have all this stuff and this game is about trains right it's not about scenery it's not the scenery simulator it's about trains so you know this bowl is um 64 tracks b64 there you go just how impressive is that and this is um 7,887 units in the world right now in this particular save, which is just is mind-blowing, right? It really just is. So, uh, come on out the bowl here, and we go down here to uh, B Tower, and these are the uh, pull-out tracks or the uh, tail tracks, whatever you want to call them. This is basically where they trim the trim jobs work. There's not any trim jobs down here. It's kind of surprising. Maybe they're in the... Maybe they're over here. That's an outbound. Here's a trim job. Y192. Yeah, this is a trim job right here. Uh, trim job there. Look, that's an outbound, uh, probably out to Thomasville, Maine. What else we got? We got any other trim jobs around here? I don't see any. There's some power here, but I think that's be yeah, that's maybe being hostile as the DPU. Okay. In fact, you know what? We're going to get rid of this bad boy. Let's delete him. Part of a rule save here. Uh, otherwise, uh, Pretty good to go. This uh, Yuli car is right here. Kind of doing a little bit of a yard check too to figure out. So they've got Yuli's on top of the Moncrief, and that's one of the things that I I want to change on my particular server. Back in the day, Yuli's weren't part of the Moncrief stuff. That was its own separate train. It was a Fernandina rocket. It was A772, A773. It ran back and forth between uh, Waycross and uh, Bush Yard. Originally, it went all the way up to Yuli. In fact, I think when I was working, it went to Yuli and A789 went to Bushyard. And then later on, they cut the 789 off and they ran the 772 to Bushyard. So things are kind of changing around a little bit. I never forget, I got called for the Fernandina rocket one morning. That wasn't my train. I was down in Waycross. Get a phone call that morning. I answer it. It was before, um, I want to say it was even before my rest was up. And uh, they're like, yes, sir. He was so incredibly, like, hyped. I was kind of surprised. He's like, yes, sir. Got you on the Fernandina rocket this morning. I was like, the what? And he's like, the Fernandina rocket. And I was like, what is that? And he's like, you know what the Fernandina rocket is? I was like, no. And he's like, who is this? And I told him, he's like, I'm sorry. It's the wrong room. I could have started my rest over, but I didn't. I want to go back with the same dude I came down with. So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't start it over. But uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know anything about no Fernandina rocket, dude. I know of it, but that's it. So, yeah, this is the yard. Uh, we got some, uh, looks like this is some kind of Savannah and Augusta train. Yeah, this would have been a little different back then. I have to go back. I've got a lot of the symbols of 
and there's stops written down or or like information for uh, that stuff back in like 2000 2002 that sort of thing so uh, we're trying to backdate everything right we're really trying to get everything backdated and uh, kind of set up the way it was I could go in here and delete all this I really don't want to though I'd really like to uh, just sort it as it goes but uh, yeah all right this is the state of the yard so I think the first thing we need to do is just start kind of clearing some of this stuff out up here let's go ahead and auto start this bad boy so it looks like when this save was made they were in the process of doubling over yeah these are all rocky mounts the rmts it looks like it is nothing but a rocky mount train yeah the entire thing is nothing but rocky, rocky mounts yeah so yeah, we'll uh, we'll double this guy over. We'll send him out uh, through Waycross and out the uh, Jessup sub. All right, is he good to go? Let's see. What does this thing look like? Let's go ahead. Let's do reverser. Knock off the handbrakes. I'm showing he's got an EOT. Let's take this guy off. Those at and remove you so we won't bust the air. Get our switch line. All right, I I think we're good. Release brakes and release the independent. Let's start shoving back. So we'll shove this guy back. We'll make it solid. Um, and then we'll send him on his way. Get him out of here. We've got a uh, a 592 over here. We got to get out. A 592 is one that I actually did. That's why it's not tagged for anything at the moment. But uh, we'll just get him out of here too. Yeah, we'll shut this guy back. See if I can catch up on this bad boy. No. You gonna let me? Come on. Let me catch up, please. There we go. All right, bring him on back. Let's bring him on back about four to a coupling. There we go. She seems a bit weighty to me, guys. She seems a bit weighty. I think it absolutely is. Can't get too like can't get too crazy fast with her. We want no more than four, right, on our coupling. No more than four. Get our train together. Right, yeah, she's slowing down on her own. Yeah, a lot of work to do in the yard. A lot of work to do in the yard. I'd love to do a multiplayer. If I could just have an evening free to do it to sit down and kind of focus on this stuff. It's not something I would be able to plan. It would probably be one of those deals where I throw up a multiplayer server, I make an announcement, and just whoever shows up, shows up, right? I know some of you guys have mentioned that. It's just, it's really hard for me to plan ahead for stuff because I never know from one day to the next um, what I'm going to be doing, right? I never, I never know. Let's get down here, make this coupling. Boom, there we go, nice. All right, let's make the air hoses. And let's partially open this guy. I hope, is this guy laced? Yeah, he is laced and good to go. Okay, that's good. I wonder if he's got an EOT hang hanging on the end. No, oh, we got to open on the other side. Never mind. Uh, totally goof that up. Or is it bottled? No, it is not bottled. Wish we had yard air. Yard air would be really nice in game. That is absolutely something uh, we need. It's basically an air source that you hooked up to in the yard and uh, charged everything up and had it ready to go for you so you didn't have to wait on this mess.
There, we're going to let her keep charging. Watch that uh, CFM. It's not coming down. It's looking like... Um, it may be open on the bottom, guys. Yeah, it totally... It totally may be open on the... On the bottom. Oh, man, I'm going to miss... Uh, like, if I leave this spot, though, I'm going to lose my cut. So it's between... Um, it's just ahead of those three TTX high cubes. Let's go check the bottom out. Let's see what it looks like down here. Man, that's... That's quite the train. No, it's closed. It needs an EOT, though. Doing an EOT. It looks like like it's it's not yeah it's what is going on with this? Yeah, man, they got a train right. Like that thing is almost the entire. Yeah, they had to double over, so it's to be right here. All right, let's see what is she doing? We could shift F7 this bad boy and just get it out of here. There we go. Now it's starting to come down. Now she's starting to drop. Let's um, let's take her out of reverse. Let's put her in number two. Let her pump the air up. Uh, we've got this 592 here. We're going to self-dispatch too, probably. At least some. We could get the 592 out of here. Let's start this bad boy up. Yeah, this is what I did. It's going to be another video at some point. It was a train I made. I make them from time to time and save them just to have. Alright, let's relinquish this guy. Let's get him started up. Six ninety. He's like absolutely gonna need some more power on him. At least one more engine. I don't man. That's a pretty lengthy train too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty lengthy train. I wonder. This is six ninety that went up to uh, Savannah and up the uh, Clinchfield in that way. I think 592 is good to go. Let's uh let's AI recrew. Let's get these switches, get him lined out. I think we'll just come down this way. Right here. All right, let's see where that switch is at. Let's see if she's flashing for us. I need to be on top of it. Let's get her flashing for us here. There it is. Reverse this bad boy. Come on. There you go. All right, that's set. Just go ahead and get him lined out of here and up the uh, up the fits. He's already lined around towards Nickel Street there. Uh, right here, there we go. Is that the light we would give him? Because the light doesn't start until right there. Okay, we're missing that signal somewhere. Yeah, that's not correct. Oh, it's this one down here. Never mind. That's Plant Avenue up there. Let's drop that one back down. Never mind. Oh, someone's got their cows out here. All right, so this guy, he should be good to go. We got that switch. We got that one. That's good. I just don't want to misroute him. If you misroute him in run eight, it's a huge deal, especially in the yard. Like. <laughs> 
there's not much fixing that if you misroute them in game there's not much uh there's not a lot of fixing that it's not nearly as easy as uh, let's say like railroader but yeah this is 592 this is 592 i built uh the head in here would be your uh gp cars for manchester going out to duran to georgia pacific and then after that would be your bn cut for boils so we got a lot of bnsf cars that sort of thing being cut and yeah these are being cut right here all the way to here and then these um golden sulfur cars and all the way back are going to be your um your chicago cars they went to chicago so they take this train we take it up to birmingham uh, we'd set the manchesters out those were your shorts we'd set those out usually there's always a few a handful of them on there and then you have your BN cut. So you go up to boils. Uh, this train didn't yard, so they pull you down the main behind the bowl. They say, uh, cut your uh, BNs off, shove them in one tail, grab your Nashvilles. Uh, they would be in another tail track. Uh, and they say, make the train solid, pull down to the fire plug. And that basically meant that um, you set out your BNs, you grab the Nashville cut. Uh, you show them back to your train that you left on the main, you make it solid, and then you pull everything down to the end of the tail tracks. There's this place there called the fire plug, and that's where a, a fuel truck would come up and fuel you up if you needed to. Sometimes you just recruit there. It just depended, so. Kind of cool how that went down. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got out on the fits? It doesn't look like we have much of anything on the fits, which is kind of good because I really, I don't want to deal with anything coming in right now if I don't have to. Like we got some switches left open or something going on here. I've got a few spots of that. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, where's Bolin? I'm trying to find Bolin here. Where's Bolin? Hortense, Nahunta. Oh, come on. I am completely missing Bolin. Where is Bolin at? Berganza. Bolin, here we go, right here. Okay, so he's coming around the lane. He's going out the freight lead. Let's just go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. There we go. All right, he's taken care of. Let's go back to the fits. We're going to turn... Auto dispatching owned for the fits. I just want to control right here around the yard. Yeah, I just want to control around the yard here. Do this. Let's get all this mess down for now. I need a screenshot anyway. We'll do this. Nice. There we go. 592 rolling up out of town. Sweet. Good looking train. I dig it. I dig the Spartan cabs. It's got an SD 45-2 and an SD 40-2. I never, I never did anything on this CSX 45-2s, believe it or not. I don't ever remember having a single one, but I hit, I did have a uh, Montana Rail Link 45-2, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We really like, if we needed anything, I've said like, we need a AC 4400s for the Southeast stuff in game desperately. Like AC 4400s were where it was at. But honestly, like, I really feel like we need a good Renorec pack. A bunch of lease engines, like SD42s or lease engines and stuff like that. Maybe backdate them to a SD40. That sort of thing. Have some Renorecs. I think those would be really super nice to have because they were everywhere back in the day. All right, 592 is out of here. He's not that big. He wasn't that big at all. We're going to get this guy out of here too. What's he looking like? His, uh, his air is still not pumping up good. What is going on with this dude? Maybe we need to... Uh, maybe we just need to open it. It just doesn't seem like... He's pumping up. I don't know why. Ready to be done with this dude, though. Let's just open it. 
Do what he does. Still 150. Three pipes, 81. All right, let's do this. Let's do uh, full independent. Let's release the brakes. Brake pipe's going down now. Did it bust it? Did it bust the air? No, it didn't bust the air. It didn't bust the air, but it's it's looking wonky for some reason. I don't. Maybe it just needs to pump up. Let's go down to the bottom. We'll take a look. And that is a serious freaking legit train. Uh, nothing in the brake pipe. Yeah, there's something, there's something going on somewhere with this train. I think, I'm afraid we're going to have to shift F7 it. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah. Yeah, I d I don't like shift F7. Sometimes it's a necessary evil though, right? Like, sometimes you just got to do it. You just got to take the plunge. Shift F7 it and be done with it. Alright. Maybe he'll pump up here and uh, be good to go here. Alright, so we're going to route this guy out of here. Let's, uh, let's follow our path. The best way to do it that I know. Follow your path. All right, I think we'll just follow him right behind the 592. 592 as a tower is Reichard a tower. Would have given him just a sub. Be like, you got just a sub. It's uh, 0811. Give it back to me as soon as you can. Because this is the Jessup. This is, the, I mean, the Thomasville, not the Jessup sub. The Thomasville main. You got the Thomasville main at 0811. So this is the Thomasville main right here. It's unsignaled through here. These are just switch indicators. You have to disregard that dwarf back. There's a dwarf back here somewhere. That that wasn't a thing back then. This was all like, you know, the Thomasville main west of Waycross back then and even still now is uh, pretty much DTC. Or it was DTC. It's like track war. Someone had mentioned EC1 the other day. I totally forgot about those. But yeah, that was what they went to, which is basically like track warrants. But um. I want to say they were like, I remember having the EC1 forms. In fact, I think it's an example one in the back of one of my timetables back in 03. But I want to say when we did EC1s back then, we were only, uh, we were copying down like slow orders on it and we were still doing the DTC blocks on it. Like they weren't giving us like the track warrant. If I remember correctly, man, it's been so dang long. I just, it's hard to say. I think that's how that went down though. I think they kind of like gradually phased it in or something. All right, this guy, he should be close to ready to go. 64, yeah, he's good. All right, let's AI recruit this bad boy. Q400, there wasn't a Q400 back then. This is one of the newer trains. All right, so he is lined out. Minus you're now horn in the distance. You can't get more way cross than that. That's for sure. So we're going to take him straight out. Yeah, we're going to stay, take him straight out and down the, um, down the Jessup. I just got to kind of figure out where everything is at. So yeah, we don't need to go that way. We don't need to go around plan Ave. What we need to do is take him this way. Go through Homestead. Offerman. Scriven. Yeah, this one's kind of... It could be a little confusing if you're not, like... Super familiar... With the railroad. It can be a little bit... It can be a wee tad confusing as far as, like, how this stuff routes and where it goes. Alright, there we go. He's going through Doctor Town. And now we're going through Ludoichi. Okay, so he's good. 
Now we got to get this switch. Dang, I can hear I can hear him blowing. Did you hear that uh RS5T? Oh, that sounds so good, man. I love those horns. That sounds so good. Oh, I got to get on top of it. Where's he at? I guess it's this one. It's not flashing. No, it's not that one. Where am I at? We're right here. Oh, that horn sounds so good in the distance, guys. I love that. Oh, yeah, it is lined up right. I just didn't hear the... No, it's not lined up right. It's going to be this one. Never mind. Damn it, Spur. Come on. Get with it. Yeah, we need to take... It's Nickel Street. Okay. There you go. So he should be completely... Lined out and good to go. You know what? Let's just take him down to Thomasville, Maine right here. That hand through. And you would. You'd have to come down here lining switches. And they would they would give you instructions. Come out on T, like whatever track, right? Run down this track to this track. And this is going to take you out Nickel Street or Freightly or whatever. Got Thomasville, Maine. And, um... I'd always have to get my sheet out. I had a little. I had some laminated uh, maps of Waycross that they gave us, and uh, I'd I'd have to get that thing out. Like you seriously would. You'd have to get it out. Okay, he's got a uh, little approach. So he's coming out. He's coming out. This way, straight. Then a slow clear. Okay, nice. He's good. Slow clear out. And then we got our next light down there. Okay, we're good to go on that. So uh, Q400 is on his way out. Oh, man, what else we got? We got a ton to do, guys. This yard is so absolutely insane. 453, that's going to Winston. Yeah, he should be like Wild Woods. Yeah, a bunch of Wild Woods in Miami's. Man, he's got a ton of... Uh, oh, these are Baldwin cars. He's going to set out at... Uh, at Baldwin. He's also got a trim job tacked on to the bottom. Yeah, so we'll have to get him off of there. Grab this guy. Let's... Uh, let's break him loose. We'll get this guy out of here. We'll, we'll clean the yard out, right? <laughs> we'll empty the yard. Yeah, he's got Baldwin cars to sit out. That's all these are going to that... Uh, that steel place. More Baldwin cars. Oh, yeah, that's a ton of Baldwin cars on the bottom here. Alright, so this would be another difference with my server. I have to kind of tweak... Um, Back in the day, they had a train that ran between uh, Waycross and Baldwin. So this would be this would be separate off of the uh, 453, right? Like we could we could cut them we could cut them off right here. I gotta remember what that train was. To be honest, like what that uh, what that Waycross to Baldwin train was. It was one of the 600s. Back in the day, it's kind of, it's changed around a lot. Like at one time, it was a local that they ran between Baldwin and Waycross, and they just took all the Baldwin cars, and then they worked uh, what was on the way. And then, like, is they've done a lot with it. They really just have. They've done a lot with it. So this guy. Question is, do we have the other end as well, or are we good with just this? Oh, he's already cut off. Nice. Okay. Good. Well, then problem solved, right? Crisis averted. Let's just get this guy out of here a little ways. 
Oh, this is hump power. This is this isn't a trim job. This is hump power. Yeah, talking about locomotives and rolling stock stuff like that. I would love to see an SD forty dash two pack backdated to SD forties. Because what they had when I was down there is they had S they had straight SD forties. They weren't rebuilds, and uh, they're in yellow nose uh, two like this, and some of them had a rice shard hump unit stenciled up under the um, number, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool that they had that. Uh, let's take this guy. The only thing about dispatching this stuff is we got to make dang sure that we uh, stop this guy. God, <coughs> sorry, got choked, <coughs> choked on my spit. Make sure that we get this guy to, to Baldwin so we can set this out. Even though if if he didn't, I wouldn't be completely like too totally upset about it. All right, let's auto start this guy. I really need to live stream this. I think it'd be fun to live stream this. This is going to Winston Yard. Yeah, dead in tow to Winston. Dead in tow, dead in tow, dead in tow. Uh, I guess we can honor that, right? I don't know why they're taking all this power down here. Yeah, I don't know. I have zero clue why they're taking all that. Yeah, I don't want his DPU lead. Yeah. MU. Let's just stop it. We'll, we'll take him dead into. Is this dead into? We'll take him dead into. Real nice. Alright, so this guy is good to go. At least it looks like. 11,000 tons. Good lord. He's a beast. 2.3 HPT. You got pretty decent HPT though, honestly. Alright, so I'm going to get this switch here. All oh, those are good. We'll come out this way. Looks good. Come on down here. All right, we got to get this one right here. I think about how I want to take this guy out of there. Where's he flashing at? Right there. We could take him out J3. That is, that is J3, right? I can't hardly. Yeah, J3 or J1. I think just down J1, get him out of here quick. Go down J1. Out that way. Take him down south, way across. Oh, there's our Q400, cool. I can tell you right now, if we misroute something, it's just going to get deleted. Like, I'm not fixing that mess. If it gets, <laughs> if it gets misrouted. This is going to be gone. Alright, he's on his way out with his Rocky Mounts. Yeah, I'm working on some sheets. I'm working on a train schedule for Waycross for like 2000. It tells the times in and the times out. I just, I gotta get it finished up, man. It takes so much time to do all this stuff. It really, like, between doing videos and doing that stuff like there's just not enough time in the day all right ai recruit this bad boy they may be starting everything up q455 we got to get him out of here 455 456 all right so he's got a peak he got a pecan set out on the head end he's got a lot of pecans yeah he does Man! Sanford. Sanford. Fs. 
Yeah, I, I would totally go with that. And on my early 2000s server, yeah, I would totally go with that. That's a good... That's blocked exactly the way it was back then, at least as far as I know. Blocked the way it was. So uh, he's good to go. And I like that, that he's only got two uh, two units on the head end, right? Two road units on the head end. So that's good. It, I like... You know, honestly, I like trains that are underpowered. I, I think they're kind of... Um, they can be fun to run. They really just can. They can be fun to run. All right, so we'll get that guy out of here. We'll take him down to South Waycross for now. And now we've got another one. We've got this bad boy. 646. I'm not familiar with this, but I think it's uh, KCS. Where are they taking KCS cars? Where would those be going? What is KCS? Kansas City Southern, Bib, okay, Birmingham's. So, they're taking them to the KCS in Birmingham? Because we had a, a KCS train that came up there. I absolutely remember him. that dude would come up there and sew up the entire dang railroad. You wouldn't be able to do nothing. You had to wait on Z-Man, Z7, I think it was Z776, KCS guy. He usually would come up there with a whole crap ton of GP42s. And, um... They were always short on time, and so what they would try to do is rush them into the yard, let them do their work, do their set out, get their pickup, and then rush them back out and get them off of our railroad before they went dead. Like, they wanted them to go dead on the KCS. <laughs> so, like, everyone would stop what they're doing for the Z-Man, right? Like, you would sit there forever waiting on the Z-Man to do all his stuff. It really, it kind of it kind of sucked. <laughs> waiting on the Z-Man. I'm like, dude... Come on. Well, we could. Yeah, there's no point in cross. We'll just run down this way. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good the whole way, it looks like. We'll take him out here towards West Way Waycross. West Waycross is really cool. I love this area out here. Again, CTC here at West Ray Waycross. I can't say it today. West Waycross. And you only have CTC for like a few miles, like on this double track here. That's all you got. There's not much of anything else. And then it turns into uh, it turns into DTC. Goes out that way. That's actually a nice little trip out that way. We ought to do a video on that sometime. Just take a train out towards the Dothan side. I think that'd be fun. So let's get this guy. Yeah, I recruit him. So he is good. Yeah, he's good to go too. So we can get him out of here. Uh, now we got some Nashville's. Nashville's. What train is this? What could this possibly be? Nashville's. This could absolutely be a 684. That could totally. Yeah, that could totally 1,000 percent be a 684. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, that would be a 684. So. So I'm trying to look and see, do we have, we got some Birmingham's in here. Doesn't look like we've got any Nashville's in the yard. Yeah, I don't see anything. Got some Birmingham's and KCS cars. Put those Birmingham's on a 680. That's what we would have back then, a 680. These uh, Oglethorpe's, and uh, this is another aspect that would change on my early 2000s server. So we got these Cordials here and these Oglethorpe's. These would all go on the uh, A724. Ran from uh, Waycross to Manchester and turned and came back. All right, we got some Cincinnati's. That would be a, uh, a 544. We could put all these on a 544. If there's any Atlantas, we could tack those on the bottom. Yeah, here's some Atlantas right here. Nice. So, yeah, we could totally do that. We could take these Atlantas. Set them over, right? We could set these over on an empty track. 
We got some Russells. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any more Nashvilles. We may hang on to that for a bit. We got a, plenty of Russells here. We might get those out of here. Some Russells. Selkirks. Those go in Q40 or not 409. Well, it depends on how we want to do it, right? That was about the time period that 409 changed. 409 used to run down to Tampa. It bypassed Waycross. It was the only freight train that ran between Jessup and um, uh, Folkestone. Everything else over there was like coal and unit trains, you know, pigs, that sort of thing. So uh, it used to run down to Tampa. It bypassed Waycross, and that was the train that they put the Tropicana cars on in the early 2000s before like it wasn't always a unit train coming back it, for the longest time it wasn't it was only unit going up but they came back in cuts and so they would put them on the Q409 and that train would run to um, it would run to Trent Tampa direct and take the uh, the Tropicana cars I'm trying to think how the let's see 409 I'm trying to think how they... I need to look at that train. I need to look at that train a little closer to see like what ran the way across that took care of the uh, Potomac Yard traffic, like the stuff off the RFMP and the Conrail stuff uh, that was tacked on. So, yeah, we'll have to research that a little bit more. So, yeah, I don't know. We're going to leave that for now. I think the Selkirks we're going to leave for now. Uh, we've got some uh, hamlets. We've got some more Augustas right here. What, are, what is this? This is a 690. Okay, yeah, we can get this guy out of here, too. He's only got the one. He's one by one. I don't, like, I'm not a fan of that setup. I, I know it's what you see now, right? But I'm just... No. Not a fan of that. We'll get him out of here. Let's, um, yeah, let's get this guy out of here. He's pretty much going to follow, uh, DPU. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. It's about the DPU that's down there. Uh, we'll get him out of here. I think he's basically going to go, um, right behind the Q400. So in fact, let's go ahead and give some lights for that. Let's put out just beside. The 592 is on his way. Give him a light, get him off our railroad. We just need to give him T13 and he should be good. Alright, let's AI recruit. Let's blast him off. Kind of run ahead here, make sure everything's lined up and looking good. Get this guy. He's good to go. Sweet. All right, he's on his way. What is this train? This is a 492. He needs to go out behind him as well, too, so we get this guy right on his heels. We'll get him out of here. And uh, that'll free up a whole bunch of tracks for us. Yeah, this is all. The 492 is looks like Charleston... Charleston's in Hamlets? Yeah, it is. Charleston's in Hamlets. I don't... I don't know how that would work out, but you know what? We'll just get him out of here. He's, he's another one. He's only got one engine. Sweet. Is this, <laughs> does this dude have enough power? 
I don't know. He seems to be struggling. He seems to. I didn't even check the HPT and all that. The tonnage. Like I should. I guess I should have checked that. Yeah. Yeah. He's pulling like no tomorrow. At least it's an ace, so we don't have to worry about him burning his traction motors up. He'll be alright. He's an ace. Has he got another ace down here? Is it two aces? Yeah, perfect. He could totally do that. He could totally do that. Let's see. We can see the train stats on this thing. Let's look at him real fast. Let's go up here. Right here. Here we go. He is 13,000 tons. My God, what a train. 100% low swing on empty sir. Man, it's hefty. 8,200 feet. It won't tell us our... Uh, it won't tell us the HPT, but... Yeah, she's, she's hefty. Okay, so that one's getting out of here. What's going to suck is ferry and power around. That's going to be the crappy part. Like, that's going to be a huge time investment. Oh, this guy's stopping down here at Westway Cross. Yeah, we need to get him out of here. Nice. Man, it's so cool down here. And they've added some houses, too. They've added some stuff. Oh, Westway Cross. Where you at? Oops. Let's go back. Here we go. Here we go. Give him a light here at Ruskin. Sweet. All right. He's going to get out of our hair. Yeah, I think those KCS cars are going to Birmingham. Those, those would have to be. All right. So we're good with that. We got the Selkirks we're not going to worry about. We're going to get these Charlestons out of here. So then at that point, all we'll have is the Selkirks and the Russells. I don't know what the Russells would go on. It's one of those trains that went up to Clinchfield. That may have honestly been a 692 as well. A 690 maybe or a 692. Then we got our Nashville's. We could bring some power over here and um, do like a, um, a 684. That was that was way across the Nashville back in the day. Look at the Reichard hump tower here. Hope I ever showed you guys that. Pretty nice. Been in there a few times. Been in the top. Cubbed up here with the uh, with the hostlers that we made breakfast for everyone. Every morning that I was there, we made breakfast. We scrambled eggs, fried sausage and bacon, did toast. That's cool. Yeah, they're, they're adding some stuff down here. That's really cool. All right, so that's getting out of here. Our, uh, what about our uh, our Miami train here? Did he blast off? Is he going? It looks like he's down here at West at Southway Cross, right? Yeah, he's pulling down here to it. All right, let's give him a light at Southway Cross. Get him out of here. There we go. Bam. 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 Go. Uh, this one's auto dispatch. Um, we need to uh, we need to stop him in um in Baldwin. And I'm afraid if I auto dispatch him, like we're not going to have that. Let's take him down, Callahan. That one. That one. 
Okay, that's good. So we need to get him down to Folkestone. Then we need to get him down to Callahan too. This is the one that's kind of confusing. All right, look at this for a second. All right, so that's going out to the ramp. This is coming in. That's going to the Nahuna. Let's take him. Uh, let's take him down to Four Acre for now. Let's take him to Four Acre for now. Okay, so he should be good. Like I said, if he miss routes, he's just going to be deleted. It's gonna have to. It's, it's gonna have to be that way. As single player, it's got to be that way. It's the law of the west. Oh, it's got to happen. All right, this guy's coming on out. Man, he is struggling. Yeah, not not too bad. He's kind of coasting along now. I think he'll be okay. Okay, so we could get another one out of here now. We could get the 455 out of here. Yeah, we could totally get him out of here. The only thing I'd have different with my 455 in early 2000s, I have a big cut of uh, tapped auto racks on the bottom. They, like, if you go back and look at videos of the old 455s and back in the day, they always had a huge cut of auto racks. I guess they took them to the uh, auto place down there. All right, let's AI recruit this guy. And he'll go out the exact same way, so this is going to be easy peasy. So we're going to hold him there. All right, I think he should be. Should be good. Oh, uh, we got some more uh some 455 power sitting here. Yeah, I I don't know what's up with that. We're not gonna worry about it. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about that. Let's just get him out of here. In fact, I think what we're gonna do is just Get that other like so. All right, so he's leaving out. 455 is leaving out. The only other one we got is the 492. You should follow right on his heels. We could have attacked another engine on there, but it, it takes so long to get it over there. I don't really want to fool with it right now. We'll do that another time. When we start building up trains, we'll, we'll do that. Now, I let's see. What was I talking about over here? We got the uh, Birmingham's. Cars that stopped a little short there. Birmingham's. I don't understand the difference between bib and burr. I thought bibs were Birmingham's. Now, honestly, I don't know the difference, but it looks like another Birmingham trade here about ready to go. They got the KCS cars. 
ACS is. Yeah, okay. That could be one that we could pull out. We could pull him out and um, get him built. We got a ton of Cincinnati's. We really need to do. Actually, really, what we need to do is get these uh, these Atlantas and these Cincinnati's out of here and build a 544. So we put the the Atlantas first, and then the um, Cincinnati's on top of that. They kind of built it backwards, like the Atlantas were always on the bottom. So you just go in the receiving yard up in Atlanta, cut your cut your Atlantas off. And then you'd pull your uh, the rest of your train with the Cincinnati's down behind the hump tower, and uh, recruit there. Got a bunch of Selkirks. I got to research that one. Chicago's got some Chicago's here. That could be that could be another five ninety two. Yeah, we got two tracks of Chicago's. Winston's Moncrief's this is more the south side traffic right way across a 754 so um, these would be tacked on the 724 as well too we'll have to fix that we'll change that around it so I don't know if I'm necessarily going to change this particular train we may just run it as is and just I remember it and we got our New Orleans we got some more Nashville cars on this side some more Nashville cars so generally I think what they tried to do is they tried to keep northbound traffic on the north side of the bowl and southbound traffic on the southbound on the south side of the bowl so they wouldn't have to be crossing in front of each other, like trimming and doing all that stuff, right? And that also came down to like the dual hump ops. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know if the, I don't think they've dual humped in a long, long time there. Look at the hump controller. Let's see what it says. Bring him overflow, KCS, Nashville. Hamlet, Charleston, Birmingham, ACS. Another, oh, Nashville, Hamlet, Charleston, Cordill, Overflow, Cordill, Overfort, Overfort, Russell, Russell, Cincinnati, and so. Mobile, Montgomery. I don't. I have zero clue what clear is. Or Bib. I thought Bib was Birmingham, but then there's a Burr too. Burr is definitely Birmingham, but I don't. I don't know what Bib is. Miami, Wildwood, B and K. What is B and K? Yeah, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank on that one. Knoll, New Orleans, Waycross. So this is the stuff that the 754 work coming out of Waycross, but as the 724 did that. So the 724 would take that, the Fitzgerald cars, the Cordials, the Oglethorpes. Fitzgerald, Yulies, Yulies would be the Fernandina Rocket. Taft. Taft, Sanford, and Pecan would all be 455. Wax. Why is there a wax here? Rehump? Is this a rehump track? Maybe. Moncrief. Baldwin, Tampa. Winston. Chicago. Rocky Mounts. Augusta's. Savannah's. Selkirk's. Cincinnati. Yeah, most of these I'm pretty familiar with. There's just a few of them I'm not sure about. So we may we may get around to changing the hump up a little bit. I 
Alright, let's go ahead and start this guy up. Alright, what else can we get out of here? So we've got some Nashville's. We could... Yeah, I wish these were on the north side of the yard. We could pull these out. Like, there's plenty to do. It's just how we want to do this. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of trimming to do. I don't know if we're going to trim now or, uh, or wait till later, maybe. Honestly, we may do it later. We may just get these trains out of there as best we can. All right, 690. I don't want to fleet the signal. We're just kind of running them as is. He's out of here. 592 is going up the fits. Why is there... Why is there a... Uh... I don't know what's going on up here. Where is that at? Oh yeah, left switch open. Why is there... These are cars to pick up, so there's some kind of industry here. We'll probably get rid of that. There's nothing on the leg of the Y back in the day. That was actually, that was out of service and spiked. In fact, I, I turned the first train on that Y in like years and years and years. We had a weed spray and train to turn. And so they put it back in service. They went out there and they did a little work on it for a few days and then let us turn that uh, weed spray and train on it. All right, so that's sorted. Yeah, we'll probably get rid of that. Oh man, they got some big power up here on the local. We'll change that up. We'll get rid of him. Uh, all they had in Manchester early 2000s was either two B30s or a B36 and a B30, something like that. And every once in a while, you would see a, a EMD, like a GP42 or a GP38 or something, but that was few and far between. Down here, it was mostly GE4 axle because uh, Waycross serviced all that. The EMDs were serviced up in uh, Cumberland. <coughs> so it's kind of rare. And on these, these look like these would go back on um, 720, uh, 723. Here, no, some more nuns. Yeah, that's that'd be a 723 pickup there. Oh, uh, what else? Kind of switch left open down here. It's a uh, Baldwin. Let's do a yard check at Baldwin. Let's see what this. Is there. What is going on down here? It's right on top of the diamond. What could it possibly be? All these are good. I don't get that. These are all power switches. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Baldwin. What do we got down here? Oh yeah, we got tons of auto racks to go back. Baldwin to Nashville. Lots of Cincinnati's. I have no clue what these could be. <clears throat> like local stuff. Taft. Is 
the M25. Yeah, we'll sort that out later. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Get 455 out. Yeah, this is mislabeled. I right hear Manchester. That is not the new way. That'd be the old way. New way is right here. The new way was that little section there. That's the old way. The west siding. Then the south siding. So we're good here. Let's go back. Um, let's go back to Waycross. Oh, come on. Where's it at? Here it is. Homestead Waycross. There we go. All right, so that guy's getting out of here. Why? Why is this guy stopped? I guess I need to get him a light. It's not Nickel Street. He's going out that way, right? What is this? 492? Light T13, I think is what he's waiting on. Yep. Approach slow. Or I mean, slow approach. And then he should have a slow clear. Yeah, right here. Or a slow approach. Okay, let's see. What can we do? To get him on out of here so he won't slow up town. That's 690. It's going to be draggy as draggy can be. Alright, so he's on his way out. We got a little bit of stuff to hump. Not a whole lot. Not a lot of humping, just a little bit. Just a tad. Don't decide to. A lot of spare power sitting down here. So six, five forty one, five fifteen. This five forty one, he's not tagged. We'll probably just get rid of that, honestly. And instead of trying, like, yeah, we'll just get rid of him. Yeah, I really, I, I really want to slow the traffic generation down on this save. In fact, you know what? Let's save it. I really want to slow it down. It's, it's just, it's so much traffic generated on the routes. It's crazy. A lot of these industries, there are tons and tons of industries that you would work once in a blue moon. Like you had a few that were dailies, but like... There was way more industries that you only touched once a week, once every few days, once a month, once every six months. Like, literally, you had industries that you did once in a blue moon. It wasn't like everything was worked religiously every single day, day in and day out. It wasn't like that at all. I think that's why there's such a huge, like, traffic glut. Like, the railroad is booming all the time because all these industries are just, like, churning out so much so much um, stuff. 
creepy on that. What is this train here? Oh, yeah, we got a GPU to set out on that one. Well, they cut, like, it's ready to hump, but it's got a DPU left in it. Oh, DPUs are such a pain. Man, I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that mess. I am. I am so freaking glad I didn't have to deal with DPUs. Like, what a hot mess having to deal with that. <laughs> We got anything else we can get out of here? Moncreeps. We could do a 457, baby. Yeah, Moncreeps. There's so much to do, man. Look at all that. Is that not insane or what? Like it just, man, it truly blows my mind to look at that right there. Right. To look at this right here and be like, holy crap. That's a lot of stuff, right? That's a lot of cars. That's a lot of cars for 30 frames a second unwavering. I'm running a Ryzen 3700 with 2070 Super, so it's nothing spectacular, right? It's it's not like a supercomputer. It's not like it's a 4090. The 7800 X3D. This blows your mind. It really just does. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave off right here. I think the next time we uh, work way cross, we'll see about doing some trimming and stuff like that. Uh. <laughs> It's like take your pick right there's 50 bazillion things you could do down here like you could have a you could have a nice decent sized group of people on here and have a ton of stuff to do anyway thanks for watching love all of you be sure to hit that like and subscribe and we will catch you next time peace no big cat no <laughs> oh no 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 kitty oh that's uh that's a mig that's a mig over us okay <laughs> it's the weirdest day ever Oh no, he just fell. He just fell.